Hey guys, it's me, Comsign, and welcome back to another week of FNAF Weekly News. We got some crazy news this week, some stuff about the artist of FNAF and the Talbot files, whatever it was called, it got debunked. I'm going to be saving all that information at the end of the video, so let's get new stuff out, like the small stuff out of the way, then we lead up to the big stuff. So, we got some new Hex news with the release of Springtrap with Golden Freddy and with Chica plushies on May 34th, so that's about in one month. They're pretty cute looking, I did talk about them like, I think two videos ago, two weeks ago. They're very cute and they're gonna be coming out May 34th. So if you can pick them up, they're pretty expensive, like $50 each. But pick them up if you can, and they're pretty cool. That's about like all the like toys that we're getting plusies. There's also a new coloring book that's coming up, a new preview for it to be exact. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Glow in the Dark coloring book has been released. The book features over 96 pages, there's 24 Glow in the Dark pages, and will be released on August 6, 2024. That's about like three months or something, so it's just Glow in the Dark book, I guess. Uh, not much I can say about it. It's a coloring book, good for your kids if you're gonna have kids. Or if you do have kids, buy it for them if they like coloring. Or if you like coloring in general, if you're a FNAF fan and you want to buy it, it's probably cost like $10, $20. So pick it up if you can. Should be cheap and pretty cool, actually. We also got a new Hex uh, teaser for the upcoming Nightmare Marionette Plus. By we're creating the Don't Wake the Baby teaser for FNAF 5 for the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween teaser that they did. Or, uh, the replacement for Nightmare, which was Nightmare in it. Doesn't show us exactly what the plus is gonna look like, but it's just a kind of a weak question of the teasel from Hex Brand. So, those image, you got the bed, you got Freddy on the bed, and you got Nightmare in it on the back. So, we don't know anything else, it's just a teasel, so keep that in mind for the future. Now that's all the like morts and stuff. So now it's actually game stuff. So last week I did talk about Five Nights at Freddy's 3 getting a like pass or something because there was some problems. Now we got the full list of stuff that was fixed. Let's see what they changed. So they added subtitle options, which cool. They revamped some option, the option screen, revamped the pause screen, added support for more kinds of control inputs in more cases, corrected vent and ceiling time with correct certain control schemes. Fixed an issue caused by changing cameras too quickly, which is very important for the game because, you know, Phantom Bloom Boy and all those other guys. Reduce loading times, which, why is the loading time long? It's a phone game, basically. Fixed wall and control prompts showing in certain situations, which is bad. Cheats are now saved like in the original, so you can cheat. Fixed some soft locks with the monitors, that's good. Added a way to escape a trapping situation in a minigame. Fix a graphical issue that can occur during a minigame. Fix a graphical issue that can occur between nights. Fix a graphical issues in the extras menu. Fix some control issues in the extra menu. Improve the audio quality of certain sounds. And on PlayStation, they fix a typo in the trophy name. On PlayStation, they increase max volume. On PlayStation, the night wind song is no longer cut off fully. And on PlayStation, fix an issue that could permanently break office panning. Which it's pretty bad. That's that's pretty bad. I think you need that for the true ending. So that's good. That's fixed now. On Switch and Windows 10, they revamped the Office Touch controls and added settings. Windows 10, they added support for a few more controllers and other various other bug fixes and improvements. So there's a lot of improvements to FNAF 3 that is good to see. I'm not sure if they're going on Steam or not because most people probably play the game on Steam. And now we're going to cover the Fusion a Funko Fusion game that uh, I talked about in a video. I'll put it in the description below. I go into more detail about the game. But basically, Funko is making a collab with NBC Studios or whatever they're called. N NBC Universal. And like, they're just getting a bunch of IPs. And if you guys know, I think Universal owns Blumhouse Studios. So they got Five Nights at Freddy's in. So Five Nights at Freddy's and its characters will be featured in Funko Fusion, a full player co op co-operative action adventure game by 1010 games it's launching on consoles and pc this year so looking forward to this game it's basically like lego dimensions uh we literally got no gameplay of it so we don't know what it looks like there was only some like small images in a teaser trailer that would show nothing really of the game except for characters but if it, this game costs 60 dollars i'm not sure if it should cost 60 dollars because it the quality is questionable but we just gotta see more of the game when it comes out sooner but i will be telling you more news on that next week if we get any more news we also got a brand new five nights at freddy's book that uh 
is called Five Nights at Freddy's Return of the Pit. So the pit is returning. Scott is really using the pit for the 10th anniversary, which is kind of weird in my opinion. I never read the book, so I don't really know much about it. But we got the cover. It's like the pit Bonnie like reaching upwards or something like that. And we got an entire explanation of uh, the entire book. So just in time for the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, we turn a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in an interactive novel in which you decide what happens. Dive into an interactive retelling of one of the most popular FNAF stories and on the bias of for our new video game into the pit. You, the reader, are Oswald. And after using the bar pit at Jeff's Pizza to travel back in time to 1985, you're brought to a sadistic animatronic back into the present. Oh crap. Can you escape or will it be game over for you and your friends? With over 25 possible endings and two difficulty settings, this one of a kind innovative novel is a uniquely entertaining experience for any FNAF fan. So, I think this is just a retelling of the pit story and it kind of goes into the new game that's coming out. So, very interesting, and this book does come out in December 24, 2024. So, we gotta wait an entire year for this book to come out. We do got another FNAF book coming in. So, really, really interesting what's this gonna be. I'm not sure if it's gonna be canon or not, but now it's the big, big news. So, Scott has made some official statements about some stuff, like the terrible files, and the artist of some of the FNAF stuff, Pinky Peels. And I will be giving you guys an explanation of what Scott says. So this is what Scott said about the Talbot files. Okay, everyone, here's my official statement con concerning the Talbot files. As I said elsewhere, I don't know what the Talbot, Talbot files is. I hope I'm saying that right. I haven't looked at it at all. I never said it was fake, though. Despite the emails I'm getting, we are talking about 2017, and that's a long time ago. If it is an unpublished version of the Freddy files, like everyone says, then it was obviously rejected. Lots of stuff gets rejected. One thing that everyone needs to keep in mind is that a lot of companies that I work with come up with products from time to time that try to fill in the gaps of the law. They essentially create new law and try to create a product. This happens a lot more than you may realize. Almost every time this happens, however, I step in and say, no, don't create law, just focus on establishing law. Honestly, that's a smart move, Scott. Even a detail small as, yes, 1983 on a t-shirt, I say no, don't include an established date because that confuses the law. Companies don't realize this, they have good intentions. All of this is just to say yes, it's possible that the Talbot files is an old version in the Freddy files, but it is, if it is, it was obviously rejected. Anytime you see an unpublished book or unpublished screenplay or even, or even scrapped merchandise, designs try to keep in mind that a lot of ideas get scrapped because they're simply bad ideas i have enough bad ideas on my own i don't need help the other problem is i've seen emails supposedly by me that were not written by me i do sometimes rely reply to emails rarely however this one i've seen posted on reddit and one sent to me privately by the members of this Talbot group is fake it wasn't written by me there are too many obvious giveaways Please don't harass anyone over this. I think there was a lot of confusion over this, obviously, but I don't think anyone has intended to cause problems. Edit. Okay, I've been looking through some of the tablet file pages. I couldn't find any downloadable versions, but I watched YouTube videos browsing through it. I can I can pretty confidently say the tablet files is fake, and not any unrealized funny files. It looks completely unfamiliar to me, and not something so scholastic would have put together. I also mentioned characters that won't create it until years later. Pretty sure it's fake, folks. So, Talbot Files is fake, according to Scott. I'm just gonna listen to him. Do not attack anyone that said anything about this because it's not their fault. They, you know, the leakers, they leak stuff. Not everything is gonna be true in a leak. Keep that in mind. Never attack someone over that and take them off of a, like never harass them that they get off a platform because that's what happened. And it's very sad for us as a FNAF community that we do that. I am in a lot of fandoms that do leak stuff because I do like leaks. I like to be informed about stuff. And attacking people over leaks is a, just bad. It's just bad. I know some people don't, don't like leaks and some people do. But never attack o o someone for leaks. It's just bad. It's just mean, hateful, and makes people hate you yourself. So do not let leak. Do not hate the leakers. Do not harass them. Do not do anything like that because they are people and they did nothing wrong. Just got some information, told people about it, and bam. So not everything's gonna be real, guys. Just keep that in mind. So now we get the big controversy. Talbot files is. Eh, okay, this was apparently fake. Okay, who cares about that, Willie, to be honest? 
but this is a very big problem about pinky pills for those that do not know pinky pills is a controversial FNAF artist they have made some designs for the like, books and stuff like that and they have did some questionable stuff i will prove examples right now uh they made a comic called daydreaming in which william afton is seen as a i'm not sure if i can say this on youtube uh very creepy towards children watching a girl through his office window imagining her saying things to him in an inappropriate way so basically this is an official artist might i add made william afton a puddle made it made him a sexual puddle towards kids which is bad how does scott not do something about this do not tell me many other things he has traced art i'm be putting up screenshots i'm not gonna put up the screenshot that's traced art because it's traced art i know it's bad but not as bad as the other things y'all so he has drawn nude almost semi-nude pinups of the underage disney bunch ss and created a theory which she explicitly explained how william was a award and a uh putter role and c is actually fired she's not fired by scott but c is stepping back which is a dub for us c has done bad things and i can't feel sorry for her because you should never be drawing stuff like that you should never be saying stuff like that but here's her official statement hello everyone i wanted to announce that i'll be stepping away from working on fnaf projects for an indefinite period of time i have appreciated my time and opportunities working on fnaf projects over the years thank you for all your support she's stepping away from fnaf for an indefinite period of time so we people do not want to hold back which i agree it's hard to redeem yourself after what you did because you're basically at all even if it's fixed or not that is something you should never do and it's disgusting that you even thought of stuff so he also said some really real things about scott and did some real things about scott not to him but like just said it it's just she's a bad person and it's probably for the better for her to step away from the fnaf fan base because she she's just a bad person in general i'm not gonna say what she did uh with scott it's uh, i can't say on youtube but it's very very disgusting uh this is what scott said uh about the situation with pinky pills okay so here's what i have to say about the situation claudia that's her name she's from germany has been doing art for me for many many years now she is, is an employee she's just one of the many artists who i call on when i think her art her skills are right for the job she added a huge amount of personality and humor for the Freddy in space games and almost all the insane boss designs for the Freddy in space series with her ideas in fact i had her working on another fnaf game for the fnaf anniversary there was another fnaf game coming for the anniversary scott confirmed that so epic she also has made mistakes over the years and i don't think she would deny that in fact she doesn't deny that i don't know all the details of every situation and i won't pretend to but what i can say is from any of my observations she has always been an honest effort to be a better herself to better herself learn from her mistakes and not repeat them she did repeat mistakes by the way so scott's just coping here i also don't consider her mistakes to be of the same fertility as any other similar circumstances that doesn't mean everyone is going to like her or like her art style and that's okay Th that's what i have other artists and more on the way everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses but i will still like all on her when i feel her skills are right for the job i hope that her, the fam this fan base would recipiate her to her i don't know I, yeah i'm talking for way too long i'm getting dehydrated i believe she has worked in good faith to try to redeem her mistakes of the past again i hope the fan base will recipiate to this I know that I've needed second chances in my own life, so I give them when I can. That's not always possible, but I think in this case, it can be. No, this is a very bad take from Scott. He did reply to her leaving and says like, I can't do nothing, that's her decision, basically. But you cannot redeem someone that draws explicit art about your characters in a very bad way that is not intended. You cannot give her a second chance. And I can't believe Scott said that. I know Scott is very controversial because uh, he was caught giving money to anti-LGBT laws, which I'm still angry about. But I hope Scott doesn't do it in the next election. But that's politics. I won't get into that. She's leaving. Good. We don't want her back. She can stay gone. I know that's mean, but she's, she's a very bad person. And that's all I'm going to say about the situation. She's bad and she's leaving. Good. And that's all the FNAF news we have. This is recorded on a Friday at 12 o'clock, so more information could be coming out. So sorry if I miss anything. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I only noticed about 5% of people are subscribed to my YouTube channel, and subscribing would help it a lot to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. I cover weekly news every Friday. So if you want that, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.